first class requirement number seven, part B. Demonstrate tying the timber hitch and the clove hitch and their use in square, shear, and diagonal lashings by joining two or more poles or staves together. In requirement 7A, you learned a little bit about the history of pioneering skills, such as lashing. You saw how these skills can be used to build something as simple as a tripod for a wash pan, or as complex as a bridge to span a river. But even the most complicated structure is made with a basic set of knots and lashing methods. As a tenderfoot, you learned that a hitch is a knot that ties or hitches a rope to some object. One of the most basic knots used in lashing is called the timber hitch because it was used for dragging logs across the ground. To tie a timber hitch, you pass the end of the rope around the log. Then loop the end around the standing part of the rope. Next, wrap the end around itself three or more times and tighten the hitch against the log. Let's watch the timber hitch again from start to finish. Another basic lashing knot is the clove hitch. That name comes from the word to cleave or split because the knot is split into two parts. To tie a clove hitch, Form a half hitch by looping the rope around the pole and across itself. Then, form a second half hitch by taking a second loop back around the pole. And then, tuck the end of the rope under the rope between the two loops. When you pull it tight, the clove hitch should form an X. Now, let's watch the clove hitch again from start to finish. You can also tie a clove hitch by making the two loops and slipping them over the end of a pole or the neck of a bear bag. Now, let's see how these knots are used in the lashing process. Lashings join two or more poles together, for example, in order to build a square framework. Where two poles cross each other at 45 degree or at 90 degree angles, you can use square lashings. To make a square lashing, place the two poles in position. Tie a clove hitch around the bottom pole right under the cross piece. Just wrap the short end of the rope around the standing part so it's out of the way. Now, with the long end of your rope, Make three tight wrapping turns around both poles. As you form the wrapping turns, lay the rope on the outside of each previous turn as it crosses the top pole, and on the inside of each previous turn as it crosses the bottom pole. Then add two frapping turns around the wrapping turns as shown. You finish with a clove hitch around the top pole, making sure it's tight against the lashings. Okay, let's see the square lashing again from start to finish. Another lashing technique that's used to bind two poles together is the shear lashing. It's used where a flexible joint between two poles is needed, and the poles cross each other at a 45 degree angle or less. To make a shear lashing, lay the poles side by side so their bottom ends are even. Tie a clove hitch around one pole. Add five or six snug wrapping turns by weaving the rope back and forth around the poles. Then, make two frapping turns between the two poles, pulling each frap tight. Finish with the clove hitch worked tight against the lashing on the second pole. Then you can spread the poles to form the angle you need. Now, let's watch the shear lashing again from start to finish. Another technique called diagonal lashing is used for binding together poles that cross each other at an angle of 45 to 90 degrees. To make a diagonal lashing, tie a timber hitch around both poles and pull it tight so the poles contact each other. Then, make three tight wrapping turns on the opposite diagonal. Be sure to make the wrapping turns side by side with each other. Next, make three wrapping turns on the same diagonal as the timber hitch you started with. When you finish those wrappings, Cinch them down with two frapping turns. Finally, tie off the rope with a clove hitch, making it tight against the lashing. Now, let's see the diagonal lashing again from start to finish. Believe it or not, by mastering these and a few other basic lashing skills, your ability to build useful camp tools and structures is limited only by your imagination. Hello. That's first class requirement 7B, the timber hitch and clove hitch, and they're used in square, shear, and diagonal lashings.